Alright guys, what's up? Today is finally the day. It is the game room tour day. Yeah! Um, I guess 2.0 because it's my second game room that I've done. Um, I finally have enough space to put everything even though it still looks like a cluttered mess. But uh, yeah, here we go. So, as you can see, we're in the basement. Yay! But, um, did my best to make it my own. My own woman cave. This is where I go after long days of work. Come on down here and, uh, chillax. So, we got insulation up on the top. So, what I did is use my posters to kind of make that be my wallpaper. I guess, until we finish this room and then I can hang some of those up. But, um, so I'm just gonna start on this corner and we'll work our way down. So in this tote here houses my, uh, my move gun and then mostly my Guitar Hero stuff, keyboard, guitars, uh, drum sets are here, and this is a real guitar for Rocksmith. Uh, this tote here is my cleaning supplies and cases and stuff like that. Got another guitar stand here. And then all of this is all my crap. <laughs> it's mostly empty system boxes, empty collector's edition boxes, stuff that I don't want to throw out because if we, when I move again, you know, I'm gonna need it. So uh, it kind of makes a wall to differentiate me from the rest of the cluttered mess that's back there. <laughs> so uh, here's the posters up on the wall. Awesome. So this shelf here, this shelf is my boxed game central. Um, it starts with uh, NES and goes down to uh, uh, SNES and then N64. All alphabetical order and whatnot. I kind of just displayed some of my favorites out here. Although for the 64, they're really all my favorites. That's why I collect them because I I like the game so much I like to get the original copy, like original box copy. So yeah, <laughs> my golden eye watch, which died. That, that battery did not last long. And then we got my PAL games, my Japanese imports to Atari, Mario Paint, my Game Boy and Game Boy Advance box games. Pokemon Leaf Green is still sealed, as is the game in here. I only got it for this guy. Isn't he beautiful? Once it focuses in on his face, look at him. <laughs> and then down here is some Halo stuff, Ezio, Iron Man. There's my DS in there. And then there's my two Zelda swords. Love those things. Now this is my Gears of War shrine, pretty much. I got uh, the controllers back there. Here's the limited edition Gears of War 4 system. I have it in its little, little plastic sleeve to keep it protected and displayed because I game on my other Xbox One. Then we got the Gears of War 4 Epic Edition JD uh, statue and my my Amazon variant Outlander one just came today, so I'm gonna have to figure out where the hell to put him. Then we got the Gears of Three Marcus one, some pop vinyls, Baird. And then down here, a couple other little things in the front. And then uh, my handheld games. Oh my god, I cannot balance right now. Alright, so we got the DS, the 3DS. We got the uh, PS Vita. PSP. Game Boy and Game Boy Color, Pokemon Green, Japanese translated, um, and then my Genesis, the start of it, and then we got Game Gear games, Game Boy Advance, these are two, just I don't have the proper casing, the uh, rest of my uh, Genesis collection, 
and into the 32X, the CD, and my very small Dreamcast collection. Bond. And then we got a couple figures and box games. This thing is still sealed. And then my game is not in there. It's in a different spot. But the controller and the uh, um, adapter are. And then here is my Nintendo games. All nice and neat. Followed by Cosmo. Here he comes, Mr. Fairy Universe. Uh, we got the Super Nintendo games. And there's my Ninja Gaiden trilogy. Oh, I love that. And I got the Star Fox too. Like two, two. <laughs> um, and then into here's my pal SNES games, my Japanese ones, and then the 64. There's my sculptor's cut. Yes, love it. And then they continue right up along in here. Smash Bros. There's my Game Boy Disc player. These are all my Japanese uh, unboxed games, made cases for. We got uh, my GameCube games. And then those continue down here. And then we got the Wii. And those continue right up in here. And then followed by my PS1 games and then my ps2 hello nathan yeah jack and daxter prince of persia ratchet and clank sly cooper all the good stuff so caliber too yeah still got my wooden blocks that i painted love them things get down there so i can see them. jack and daxter yeah yeah and then we got uh, Assassin's Creed 4 figure, we got Ganondorf, we got Star Fox, we got Link. And then up top on this shelf are all my handheld uh, systems. We got my blue 3DS, my blue Game Boy Color, Sega Nomad, and Game Gears in there. And then uh, followed by the rest of my uh, PS2 and into my PS3 collection. And then we got my shield. I don't know why I'm so out of breath right now. Whew, I'm dying. <laughs> uh, Shield, Pokemon, um, Game Boy Color, uh, Zelda, the Black and Gold 3DS, Vita, Pokemon, new 3DS, that special 20th anniversary one, Game Boy Micro, there's my DK Banana Controller, yeah, and the rest of the PS3 and into the PS4. X, original Xbox, I was about to say Xbox One. Technically, it is the first one. <laughs> um, and then we got my 360 games. And then this is my Zelda uh, DS Lite. My blue PSP that is modded. My Spongebob um, SP and my Nintendo Classic SP. And then the rest of my 360 games. There's uh, little coasters that uh, one of my... My best friend, one of her friends that lives out by her, made them. Thank you for that. I love those. They're so adorable. And into my Xbox One games. And then uh, Xbox One just continues right over here. And then into my PC big box games. And then my PC... Little box games. And then my uh, really, really, really big PC game boxes that I don't know where to put them. <laughs> and then uh, this tote hiding back here is filled with my strategy guides and uh, stuff like that. Cheat books and things. And they hold up Marcus Phoenix. The Christmas bow on his head is an inside joke with uh, the people I used to work with at the game store, so... They told me that I must keep it on him forever, and I plan to do so. Despite him being a total badass and then wearing a bow. <laughs> and then this thing is a poster from when the movie first came out. And this is from 1970-ish, I want to say. 
Um, but yeah, so the fact that I finally can display that and the fact that I have that is just, I love it. And then here is my Gaming Central. These cubes, oh my god, these cubes just barely fit my systems, like, with. The PS3, no matter which way you turn it, it does not fit. <laughs> so, um, got the PS3 there. There's my AV switch box. My TV, which when I bought it, I thought it was bigger, and now being in this big room, it's very tiny. Uh, my Blu-ray player, my HDMI switch box, my headsets, some of the main ones I used, and then my power surge protector. And then we got some little of the Pokemon Burger King toys that sit on top of it. So we got here, we got the Ouya, my two Elite controllers, the PS4, and the Wii U. Which for both of these and the uh, Xbox One, I kept their sheeting. Because they scratch easy, so I wanted to keep it on them. I wish I would have saved it for the Wii and some other my other shiny ones, but I didn't because I'm stupid. <laughs> My Ice Blue 64, my Pikachu 64, the NES, the SNES, the N64. Can you tell I like N64? <laughs> uh, PS1 with a screen, GameCube with a screen, and Game Boy Player. PS2, my Gears of War 360, Dreamcast, Halo Xbox, another Halo Xbox that is modded, and I made sure I wrote down that it is. The, the disk drive is broken on that one, so I modded it so that we then get a second life out of it. Um, my original 360 with the Gears decal, my Genesis with the CD and 32X attachment, and the Wii. And you're probably wondering why there's plastic on all these. Well, being in the basement... What's that piece of dust? Being in the basement, I, I worry about mostly bugs, but um, water, too. That's why I got some cardboard underneath to kind of raise it a little bit on that one and that one, because they're very low to the ground. Um, here... I used to have the Gears of War Vault. Uh, I got rid of it, but uh, I actually have a long USB cable hooked into it and hooked up to my PC, so when I turn on my PC, this thing glows and it's awesome. Then we got the Shadow Purba Dagger Replica, and we got my Elder Scrolls Skyrim Dragon, followed by in here are my really expensive figures that I love. Uh, we got my Wolverine. We've got... Go Cavs. And a signed guitar pick from Britt Floyd. Uh, we got the Shadow, Van Helsing, and Indiana Jones with the replica Shadow ring. And then we got down here my James Bonds with uh, my Disturbed Breaking Benjamin concert ticket and my signed Breaking Benjamin CD. Oh, that was a great night. <laughs> so then there's my space heater because it does get chilly down here at night. Um, my PC with my two monitors. This is where I game with my Xbox One. There's my HDMI uh, switch box for that. My Xbox One and ex external hard drive. My fancy little controller. Um, and then up top here are all my Amiibos. I made this little stepladder thing. I saw someone do it on YouTube, but they used Legos to make it, and then they put a tarp over it. Well, I made mine out of cardboard and vinyl, and then I put a tarp over it, and I love the damn thing. And then there's my sealed 30th anniversary ones, just because I felt like getting a copy sealed. My 20th anniversary controller and all these awesome figures. And then down here are my CDs, mostly soundtracks, a couple bands, but mostly soundtracks. And then in here, I'm not going to open it because it's a mess, PC controllers, headset cables that are in a bag, and stuff like that. And then this tote has extra controllers in it, a whole bunch. Um, that tote is um, chargers for handhelds, miscellaneous stuff and like memory cards and batteries. Cables are all down there, extra cables. This is all my systems that are displayed. I got all the systems in a convenient little bag. Grab what system you want and uh, go to town. And there's my golden eye man. <laughs> and then you flip over here, boom. All the DVDs, so I can pick a movie, watch a movie on my Blu-ray player down here. There's my Shadow Pinball backing, the Ratchet and Clank poster that we printed out at work. I didn't make that art, someone online did. Teen Wolf from Etsy that I bought. Again, someone else made that. I thank them for those, because those are awesome. And uh, yeah, so that is the game room, my woman cave. Where I go when I feel sad. I come here and I play games and I feel better. <laughs> um, 
But, uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. It's nice to finally be back and finally have a house again and be all settled in. So, uh, I plan to start doing some more videos soon. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys had an excellent Christmas or holiday insert, insert here. Um, and, uh, have a happy new year and we will... I'll, uh, I'll see you next year, I guess. Bye, everybody. All right, so here's a new updated real quick of my gear shrine. Here's my one that has the cog armor. And then there's my new one with his Outlander armor.